going to discuss how to create a one-way ANOVA table on your TI-inspired CXCAS. I have in front of me the emulator in the, uh, from the CAS student software. And the first thing that we are going to do here is we are going to press menu and we will add a list in the spreadsheet. Now that we have our spreadsheet up, we will enter our data. Now for my data, I used a problem that I encountered in class. At any rate, we have three different flow rates here. Now the thing to note is you are not allowed to just enter a number in these fields on the top. If you do that, you get an error message. So I appended my flow rates with just the letters FR for flow rate in front. So if you do that, it'll accept the number. If you start it with the number and put the letters afterwards, you will also get the error message. Or if you use a space. So that's one important thing to keep in mind when you are entering your data. So I have basically three different treatments here. So what I will do to create my ANOVA table is I will click Menu. And on Menu, I will choose Statistics. And then stat tests and then after stat tests we go down to C and we get ANOVA. Now it's going to ask me for my data input method. We want to keep it on data and then the number of groups we have three. So we change our number there and we say OK. So now it wants to know what those three groups are are titled. So for the first one FR125 FR160 and then FR200 and our first result column we actually want to say D because A, B, and C are taken by the actual data we don't want them to overlap then we click OK and we have our ANOVA table now as you can see uh, and I'm going to make the screen we're going to change the screen so we can see it all Okay, so we have all of our data here, and we have our table. We have our F value here at 3.58563. We have our P value. We have our degrees of freedom. We have our sum of squares. We have our mean square. We have our degrees of freedom error, our sum of squares error, and our mean squares error. Now the only thing it doesn't show you is the totals, but of course you can get those from, for example, for degrees of freedom, just add degrees of freedom and your degrees of freedom error, and that would give you 17 for your total. And then the same thing for your, your mean squares and your mean squares error, your sum of squares, and your sum of squares area and so on and so forth. And that is how you create an ANOVA table using the TI-inspired CAS.